Oh, rats. See, because this episode is about the Rat King, you get it? Oh, rats. Let me do it again. Oh, rats. Yeah, yeah. Oh, rats. Hi, I'm Andre, and I'm a black nerd with another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles episode recap. Turtle power. Of Rat to Men is this week's episode, which of course means that the Rat King has returned. The episode starts out with April and Casey on a date with Irma. Irma just straight block Casey Jones. They leave her alone though. They're like, we gotta go see the animals we can't tell you about because she knows nothing about the turtles yet. And then Irma gets taken away from some mysterious figure. So let that be a lesson to you blockers out there. Do not block anybody or you might get taken away by a giant rat. Because the Rat King has returned, Splinter is getting weird again because the Rat King is getting in his mind. Not just controlling Splinter, he also wants to get information from him. You can hear him talk about, I got what I needed. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the Rat King. I got what I needed. The Rat King has been trying to make an army of mutants rat soldiers. The only problem is instead of having half rats, half people, he's actually having gigantic rats. But that's not what the Rat King wants. He wants part human, part rats. And who does he know is a part human, part rat? Splinter. So he goes inside Splinter's mind, finds out the mutagen makeup of him so he can figure out how to turn humans into rats. Thanks for letting me be in your brain for a second. Now I'm out of here. Woo! -hoo. He just straight being John Malkovich to you, Splinter. Meanwhile, the giant rats are attacking the city and as predicted, Casey Jones is freaking out because Casey Jones is afraid of rats. So of course he's afraid of gigantic gigantic rats, one of which takes him down to the sewer. Irma's been kidnapped, Casey's been kidnapped, and a lot of other people have been kidnapped because the Rat King wants to turn them all into rats. And he seems to want to turn Irma into a rat first, which is kind of interesting. He's like, yes, oh, I'm sorry. Yes, she's the perfect specimen. Mm -hmm. Flesh. All right, slow your roll, dude. You can't make her your rat queen till she turns 18. But of course, the turtles come in and save the humans with the help of Master Splinter, who comes along with them, and Casey Jones, who eventually gets freed, and April O'Neil, who's there with them, and Ice Cream Kitty. Hmm, I think I need to backtrack for a second. While April and Casey are on their date with blocking Irma, they find a cat and they bring the cat down to the sewers where Donatello is still trying to figure out a retro mutagen, so he has mutagen out. While Michelangelo is eating ice cream, the cat eats the ice cream, the cat eats the mutagen, and becomes Ice Cream Kitty. A giant ball of ice cream with a cat face. Makes you hungry, doesn't it? This Ice Cream Kitty obviously needs a voice, so who voices Ice Cream Kitty? Kevin Eastman. You ever heard of him? He's kind of the co-creator of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You may have heard his name. That's right, Kevin Eastman is the voice of Ice Cream Kitty. Makes you hungry, doesn't it? I also love that Michelangelo says, can we keep her to the kitty? I don't know if that was supposed to be a homage to when he says, can we keep her in the first Ninja Turtles movie when they meet April O'Neil for the first time? I'm just gonna take it. I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna say yes, it was a reference. I make up references if I can't find them. And you think an Ice Cream Kitty is ridiculous, but Ice Cream Kitty actually helps save the day. Michelangelo throws him at the Rat King. Yeah, Ice Cream Kitty, oh! And the Ice Cream Kitty even saves Michelangelo from one of the giant rats. Ice Cream Kitty is the new Ninja Turtle. Let's go ahead and put Ice Cream Kitty on the team. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Ice Cream Kitty. Rocky Road. And then finally we get one of the most awesome fights ever. Splinter and the Rat King go head to head. Rat King tries all the tricks. Tries to get all his rats to attack him. Tries to knock him off of a ledge using the rat. Splinter ain't gonna have that. He like climbs up this ledge. Comes up to the Rat King. And then finds out that Aristotle, the little white rat that sits on the Rat King's shoulder, is the rat. King's eyes because he has no eyes. Splinter just straight pimp slaps that rat off his shoulder. He's like, oh, that's your eyes? Schlack. But the Rat King's all like, well, that's okay, because you got eyes. I will take your eyes. And Splinter was like, oh, yeah? He takes the Rat King's wrappings around his eyes and is like, oh, can you see now? Huh? What you got? What you got? Rat King's all freaking out. Where's he at? And he tries to grab Splinter, and Splinter just moves off to the side, and that Rat King does a Wally Coyote. Obviously, this episode was great. It's always good to see the turtles overcome obstacles, but it's even cooler when Splinter overcomes obstacles. He's so strong. So to see him having to deal with something as strong as a being who can control his mind and have to fight that, that's pretty awesome. I love Splinter in this version of the series. It's just really cool to see him come out and take action. Hopefully, this is not the end of Rat King because I really like the Rat King. He's kind of like the Scarecrow, but we've got more cool characters coming up, so it's okay if we only use him every once in a while. I mean, you can only do the whole, like, I'm gonna hypnotize Splinter so many times. At some point, Splinter's gonna be like, all right, dude, you've already taken over mine like 15 times. We know how this works, all right? Just stop. Go to Disneyland. Get Mickey Mouse's brain or something. Now I want to hear from you. What did you think of this episode of Ninja Turtles? And if you could be like the Rat King and take over someone else's mind, whose mind would you take over and what would you have them do? Don't be naughty or be naughty. I love you like a play cousin. I'm ah! <laughs> Subscribe to Katie Wilson. Be sure to like and subscribe. What just happened? Katie, quit taking over my mind. Ah!
Ah! What's up, Portal Master? Subscribe to CoinApp TV. It's Skylander Saturday! Subscribe to Taze on Day. Give to his Patreon. And... Ah! Get out of my brain! Chain Champion! Get your black and Asian on its blazing, blazing Power Ranger love. Ice cream!